guys welcome to my Etsy channel where my primary objective is to help you build a thriving Etsy business and welcome to another episode of Etsy shop critique today I'm, I'm going to be doing a critique on the store called Audrey K creations and guys any tools or resources that I mentioned on this video you could find them below this video there's going to be a little box if you click there you'll find resources for everything that I use on this video plus additional resources so make sure that you go down there and check it out now what I normally do on an audit the first thing I do is I pick one actual listing to do an audit on and the one that I picked to do is this one right here now keep in mind that this is um, a critique guys so this is kinda go over things that they could improve and things that they're doing good as well so let's get let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that I normally talk about is your photo right product photography is like one of the most important things if not the top one from the list the reason why is because you only have one impression to make and you have to keep in mind that when you are selling on an e-commerce platform like Etsy or any other e-commerce the only thing that you have to go by is the photo. Um, there's no way that the, the customer is not like a regular store, a traditional store that they could go in, grab the item, touch it, feel it, touch the texture, wear it. Um, when you buy online, all you have is your photos. So you have to make sure that your photo is compelling, that is um, clear, and, and the customer will not have any confusion as to what they're buying. Um, it has to be cropped in a complimentary way. Um, I also recommend using the background, making sure that it's simple, um, that has natural lighting, or very nice, um, I want to say no distraction in the background. The reason why I picked this photo is because when you first look at it, um, it's a little bit, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of stuff going on, right? There's a pair of shoes, um, you have your, your watermark right here, you have, and I understand this is supposed to be white, white and blue, um, patriotic, unicorn, onesie. But a lot of people are not reading this right here. The first thing they see is the photo. So right now, it's a lot going on in this photo. So it does cause a little bit of confusion as to what the person is buying. So therefore, they might think the shoes come included. They might be confused on what this is right here. Is that a hat? Um, they might think that. The additional stuff comes with it so my suggestion for this actual listing is one to do the photo by itself with the onesie two I will add additional photos you only have one I will add additional photos with someone wearing the onesie so you could showcase how it actually looks on a baby definitely add at least five photos if you can't add all ten at least five photos you should add Another thing that you should do is do a call to action on telling the customer to click below to learn more about the listing description. You have to keep in mind a lot of people when they use Xe is their first time visiting on Xe. So therefore, they don't really know that they could click and the listing this description will have everything and anything they need to know about the actual listing and that they could find out more information on it. So I highly recommend not only doing your photo over, but adding that call to action. And keep in mind that a bad photo could prevent you from making a sale. No matter how amazing your product is, if your photo is not clear and there's some type of confusion on the photo, right? The customer doesn't really know what they're buying. That will cost you a deal because the person just going to keep scrolling and they're not going to pause to buy your item. So that's the first thing that I will fix in this particular listing. The second thing I want to talk about is search engine optimization, also known as SEO. And SEO is basically how the large search engines like Yahoo, Etsy, Pinterest, um, Bing, they find whatever you're talking about in, in a particular page. So based on SEO on page factors such as title, if you have the keyword in your listing description, if you have additional keywords optimizing that page, they know that this actual listing is about a unicorn onesie, right? 
And then based off off page factors, like your meta description, your title, uh, making sure that your keyword is in the beginning of your title and other factors like how the listing has been up, all of those contribute to being found on the search engine. So you want to make sure that you're using keywords that are not overpopulated, not too broad, and that you can rank for. So I noticed three things in your listings. One is that you have to be careful with using words that are trademark. So the word once you're not supposed to use, um, not in the actual listing or in the uh, title at all, um, only because Gerber has that keyword trademark. So anybody that uses it will get an infringement letter sooner or later, which means that they will go ahead and deactivate any listings in your shop that has that particular keyword. So the first thing I would do is just change that. It's not worth um, for someone to send you a letter or actually send you a letter of infringement and now you get like a strike against your shop. So I would definitely remove that keyword. Um, secondly, I see that you're using keywords that are too broad. So patriotic is too broad. Unicorn is too broad. And what that means is that anybody and everybody, you're targeting anybody and everybody. You're not targeting your target audience. So therefore, what happens now is that you might get, let's say, if you do get a lot of views and impressions, but you're not getting sales, that's the reason why. It's because you're showing your products to too many people or people that are not interested in buying your products. So you want to make sure that when you are using tags, that you are targeting your persona, right, or your audience, that you're targeting the people that will be interested in buying this onesie. You don't want to target just anybody because if you ever spend ads on Etsy, I'm just going to be wasting your money because those ads are going to be showing to the people based on the tags that you picked. Um, another thing that you're doing is that you're using keywords that are that has a lot of competition on Etsy. So if you were to take the word onesie and you were to go to Etsy.com, right? You're going to notice that there's so many other people using that keyword. So for instance, for onesie, there is at the current moment, 248,000 other people using that same keyword. So therefore, you're competing with these people. So my first suggestion is that you don't use this key. Well, first, you don't use it because of the trademark. And two, you don't want to use it because it's too oversaturating. So what I would recommend is going back to either you could use um, XyRank or you could use Marmalade or um, Google Keyword Planner, whatever tool you currently use for your SEO. Go back and redo your SEO. You definitely have to do your entire SEO, all your tags all over. The only one, I mean, even um, this one here, 4th of July, 1C was like the only one that you could potentially rank for. Everything else um, is too broad and you will need to change. Um, so make sure that you go back, do your um, keyword research, take the time to look for keywords that are for your target audience. Make sure you're targeting your audience. Then you go back. Once you get the new keywords that you have, then you go back and do the same thing you did here. You did a good job with it by putting the main keyword in the front, making sure your main keyword is in the meta description. And then also making sure you distribute the additional keywords throughout your listing because that's an on-page SEO factor. Um, keep in mind that with the new changes that XE is doing or that they did um, about a month ago, what they want you to do is just put the main keyword in the beginning of the sentence and then the rest should be like a, a short description of what you're selling. Make sure you do that if you, you know, it's not necessarily that you have to, it's just the way that they want you to do it. The reason why is because they want to simplify it. So when people are reading the title, like a potential buyer is reading the title, it doesn't look like a computer wrote it. It looks natural and they could read it and, and understand what exactly they're buying. So they're just trying to simplify it for the buyer. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is listing description. And listing description is basically anything and everything that the customer customers should know about this listing. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you, um, what I try to do is go step by step everything that the customer needs to know. 
So I try to put how to order, what's in, I try to include how to order, what's included, um, the, the shipping policy, the return policy. Um, I would include also a backlink to my first, to my homepage. Um, also include, basically think about it this way, include anything and everything the customer should know about this listing, right? Um, at the current moment, um, you have care instructions. What I would do is I, I would maybe send them this. When they buy from you, you send them like a little sheet with the care instructions, but I wouldn't necessarily put it in here. You can, I guess, but what I would put more information in here is about how to order, right? Um, what exactly they're getting. What is it made from? Like, just, just be very detailed. Keep in mind that writing or crafting a really good key, um, like listing description is going to avoid unnecessary messages. It's going to build credibility and it's going to build trustworthiness. And then the customer is going to feel more comfortable buying from you. But you definitely want to make sure that you take the time to craft a listing description and you go in details exactly what they're buying. So what I would do is that I would go back and redo your listing description because it, it, there is a lot of information missing on it. And keep in mind that because you do make handmade items, people are willing to go to Etsy to buy a handmade item versus go to like Target and just buy the onesie there, right? They're here because they want something custom. They want something different. So make sure that you take the time to Tell the buyer what exactly they're getting, how to order from you, because then that's going to build that trustworthiness with them. At the current moment, um, I, I definitely think you need to work on that. And keep this in mind. SEO is how the person found you. The picture, right, the photo is what's going to make them want to click on it and fall in love with your product. And then the listing description is, going to, is what's going to close out the sale, right, is, is what the bottom line explains to them what they're buying, what they're getting, what comes included, and then they're going to want to click on it to buy it. So you want to make sure that you have all three because they all work hand in hand. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is the curation of your shop. And the curation of your shop is basically um, your title, your colors, um, branding, cohesiveness, etc. So looking at your overall shop, um, I do like your 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 profile, um, you, I'm sorry, I, I do like your logo that you have. The only thing I would suggest is that I maybe upload it again a little tap smaller. It gets cut off here a little bit. Um, I will also suggest having a photo of yourself because people want to know who they're buying from. That's why they come to XC because they want to buy from small business and they also want to buy handmade products. So having your photo there, it just helps them identify who they're shopping from. Um, what I would do is I would create a tagline here and um, you just put your store name again. So I would just create a tagline of what you sell, something short, simple and cute, you know? Um, yeah, I mean the colors, if I saw this listing here on Etsy and then I saw this one and I saw that one, I think they're all coming from different stores. So right now you don't have the branding together. Um, so you definitely want to work on branding is basically sticking with the same colors, the same background and making it like that across all social media platforms and then also e-commerce. So you want to make sure that your photos all look like they're all coming from the same store. And you can look at, you know, if you need a little bit of inspiration, you could look up prominent shops out there on XC or you could go to your favorite store online and you'll see the trending that they have. You know, the most common thing that they have is that the colors of their photos, the background, everything is very, very similar. So you definitely have to work on that also. Um, the About Me section, um, I, again, add a photo there. Um, I do like the fact that you, you took the time to write an About Me part, only because a lot of people do read that and they want to get to know you. So I'm glad that you did that. I think that's, you did a really good job with it. The only suggestion I would add is maybe add photos of your family or maybe even if you don't want to showcase that. Because I know like for me, like privacy is very important. 
So I, I understand not wanting to sh to showcase too much, and I had to get a little bit more comfortable doing it. Um, so what I would do is maybe even showcase like your like the area where you craft or you make your items. It doesn't necessarily have to be a picture of you and your family, but you could just showcase your workspace, and that's you know just nice enough to have something there. Um, good job at putting your link. If you have additional links like Instagram or Pinterest or anything else, make sure that you do put the additional links here. Uh, and make sure that you fill out um, your policies. Um, they're very, um, they're, they're not completely, completed um, completely. So I would definitely um, add a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, you, you have beautiful items. The issue is your SEO and your branding and the colors and your listing description it almost looks like it's not completed like your store is not a hundred percent completed and keep in mind that another reason why other stores rank a lot quicker is because they have everything completed Etsy takes an overall look of everything in your shop so they ask they also look at um do you have all your shop policies filled out do you have your about me section filled out do you have I mean, you have a photo, you have this, and they check everything. And based on how much information you have, they do rank you either higher or lower on your listings. So you want to make sure that you take business, XE business serious, because I know that we make the mistakes as XE sellers that because we're not paying so much money down and it's very relatively cheap to open an XE shop compared to other business out there that we don't take it serious enough and we don't, you know, halfway through, we just, we just give up or I don't know the situation in this scenario, but you know, in other places, I know people told me, well, I just give up or it's too much to learn or there's a lot, a lot of things to do. So you want to make sure that you, you do, you take it seriously, right? Because at the end of the day, if you want to make this your full-time job or you want, you know, maybe you want this as a extra money for, for your family, you got to kind of put in the work and you got to fill out all this information, um, not only just for filling it out or for the sake of filling it out, but also because it's going to help you propel your business and it's going to make it look more professional and more complete. So I would definitely, you know, work on everything that we talked about on this video. Guys, if you guys have any suggestions, um, about something that she could she could improve in the shop make sure to leave a comment below i'm trying to create a sense of community where we all come together and we help each other out so thank you guys for watching and if this is your first time watching this video and you're interested in learning more on Etsy, make sure that you subscribe to my channel thanks again and until the next video have a wonderful day